now I'll do a, a little bit of a video about this, the ATI TV Wonder Pro. So I didn't really use this a lot. So that what this was, what this is, the video capture card. I don't think it really came with any editing software that I can speak of. Like the um, AV Master was definitely my workhorse. It came with the ULead Media Studio, which I was using for editing. Um, so I didn't really use this as much. Um, it was a TV tuner card, like you could connect a uh, cable or an antenna to it and watch TV through your computer. It did not, it's from an era where it did not, excuse me, it did not do ATSC for whatever reason, even though, just to throw that out there because of this, uh, this device here, the HodgePodge, um, this thing does do analog and it does do ATSC tuner. Uh, I'll show. I'll hold this thing up to it too, just to show you the scale of the card. And this works in Linux. I'm not sure about this. I do have a uh, Linux version, or sorry, a card version of this, and it does work in Linux. Um, uh, but at my computer I have that actually can run PCI cards. It's like a uh, 1.9 gigahertz one core processor, so it's not a very fast computer. But it can it can do that. And only that. Without video soap, with video soap. All right. So I actually had this in the computer. So this is not like a brand new unboxing or anything. But that, and I probably kept everything together pretty much. ATV, ITV, getting started. I have my receipt for this thing. If I want to take it back to shoot future shop. So this was on sale for like $91.19 is how much I paid for this thing. What uh, was the date when I bought this thing too? That would be an interest. 2006 That's when I bought this thing and really I didn't use it much. I don't know why I bought this. I had the other card which worked much better. Here's the software that comes with it. Uh, oh. I guess I don't have the card here with me. I think it's actually in a computer, now that I think about it. But one thing it kind of, it had this thing here that plugged in there, and then it had this thing. It kind of looked like an S-Video cable, but it wasn't. And it had an IR um, for your TV thing, so you could put this on your computer and put that there. Here, I'll run downstairs and I'll show my uh, computer. I guess it's actually inside a computer. I'll show. So it's in this computer here. This computer has a little switch on the front, which I had back in the day, which would basically set power either for Windows XP or for Linux or for Ubuntu. You know, you could do a boot, but uh, I just liked having that option of because um, I was just starting to try Linux and I wanted to actually have it on an ex ex different hard drive. And then I could always go back to Windows XP. Um, now I'm fully converted to Linux and I don't use Windows XP, although Windows XP was a good operating system, I gotta say. And it's kind of a fail because I had it in this computer and now that card is in a box somewhere, but I don't know exactly where the box is. So there's what the card would have looked like. So when I find it, I'll know what it looks like. But yeah, there's what it looks like. It just connects to that adapter thingy and captures video. I got the killer balloon. I'll shoot I it. I got the killer balloon. Ah! 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 Ah!